Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Velder BB Show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure to be here. I want my audience to know that Sahara is the cookbook author of Eat, Feel, Fresh. This is her second book. And I wanted to talk with you because one of my favorite souls write the forward to your book, Deepak Chopra. Mm. And I knew it had to be a good book when oh. I found it. Thank you so much. Yeah, he's an amazing person. Well, your book is amazing. It's beautiful, and it's on my path of eating, so I wanted to share it with my audience. What's so different about your book? So I took Ayurveda, which is the world's oldest health system, and modernized it. And I have found that this health system can really, really customize the type of eating for your unique mind-body type. And I took these ancient practices and really kind of revved them up for today's day and time and also made them all plant-based using just local ingredients that you can find at your supermarket so it's really accessible for everyone. What gave you the idea to modernize it? Why not just do it the way it was? Yes. So when I started to learn about Ayurveda because of my own health problems, I really resonated with the practices and I felt so understood by the way that they described my mind-body type. But the suggestions that they gave me just felt really archaic. A lot of it said that you can only eat Indian food for pretty much the rest of your life and I wouldn't be able to eat some of my favorite foods like pizzas and, and smoothies and things that I grew up eating. So I wanted to find a way to kind of combine these two worlds and also make it plant-based. And that's how I just started cooking in the kitchen and little by little, I started to formulate different practices, different recipes for the different mind-body types, and eventually this book was born. Usually when you experiment on yourself, there is some change. What change occurred in you? Because I heard that you had some health challenges. Yes. Yeah, so the first thing that changed with me was my digestion. I had really bad digestive issues. Every time I ate food, my stomach would hurt so bad. And that digestive issue eventually led to imbalances throughout my body. And I went to so many doctors and no one could figure out the problem. They just kept prescribing me more medications to mask my symptoms and I wanted to get to the root of that. So when I learned about Ayurveda and how holistic it is and how the mind and body are connected. I learned that even some of my anxiety, insomnia, forgetfulness was all correlated with physical symptoms in my body. So I wanted to dive into this, make it accessible for people because not everyone will be able to move to India, which I did and study Ayurveda for years. And the reason why it needs to change is because our world has changed. We don't live in the same day and age as we did 5,000 years ago, let alone 50 years ago. So it really needed a modern adaptation for our busy lifestyle, for the GMOs and all of the toxins we're exposed to on a daily basis and making it really accessible for the average person because if it's not easy, we're not going to continue integrating this into our lives and it's so important for this to become just a practice that you don't have to force but can just become natural. I want my idea is to know the cookbook is titled Eat, Feel Fresh by Sarah Rose Katabi. What's your favorite I, and that's like asking, you know, someone what's their favorite child, but what's your favorite recipe from your book? Mm, yeah, so I love the sweet potato crust pizza, and I love that because it essentially is a pizza crust, but instead of being made out of wheat and flour, the crust is actually made out of sweet potato and oats. So it has that crispy, you know, almost like carb-like texture, but the carbs are all really healthy for you. Sweet potatoes are full of nutrients and oats are filled with fiber. So it's a very easy thing that you can make. You can even make a few crusts and store them in your um, 
and your fridge or your freezer and then customize them with different toppings. So I made mine with a plant-based pesto, with artichoke, with mushrooms, and it's so delicious and really makes me feel like I'm eating a New York pizza. Now that you're on your second book, and I want to inspire my audience, how's your health and how's your outlook on life? Mm, yes. You know, writing these books is such an incredible way to really reaffirm that this, this practice works because now I'm able to share this work with other people and the moment that they start to into, integrate even just the smallest changes in their lives, they come back to me even a month later saying they're sleeping better, they've lost weight, they feel energized, they're finally writing their own book about their own story and sharing their message, which really is the point of Ayurveda. The point of health is so you can live your best life and really become the best version of you that you were meant to be. So it's so much more than just food. Food is really just the stepping stone to get you where it is that you were meant to go. I thank you for those kind words that you have given my audience this morning, and I hope they feel energized and inspired and want to get a copy of Eat, Feel Fresh. Now, I'm giving away a couple copies, and if you guys want to receive that copy, go to my Facebook page, you know, the routine usually, Founder BB Show, see the icon of Eat, Feel Fresh, like it, share it, I'll choose a couple of people, but don't be disheartened if you don't get a copy, because the book is available wherever books are sold, it's a beautiful book, you'll spot it on the shelf right away, I promise you, thank you so very much. Mm. Let me ask you, Sahara, where can we find out a little bit more about you? Because you're going to be the star of the food world in a little while, I'm telling you. Oh, thank you so much. So I have um, a quiz on my website that people can take to learn about their doshas, and that's I am Sahara, Sahara like the desert, rose.com. So I am Sahara rose.com. There's a quiz right there on top, and they can find out what their mind body types are. Thank you so much for inspiring my audience and doing what you do. Please come back because I see brightness in your life. Thank oh, you. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being my guest on the Velder Baby Show.